And World Trade Organization chief Roberto Azevedo has secured a second term and he's pledged to build on recent successes despite what he calls challenging times confronting a global trade. Now for the first time since its founding in 1995, the WTO is dealing with a U.S. administration that's openly hostile to free trade. However, Azevedo also says the WTO is stronger today than it was in 2013 when his first four-year term began. He's pointed to last week's ratification of the Trade Facilitation Agreement, the first multilateral WTO deal to come into force. But the steady flow of protectionist rhetoric from U.S. President Donald Trump's administration has a triggered concern about the body's chances of further progress. We must work harder to ensure that the benefits of trade reach more people, uh, especially in the most vulnerable countries. We need to work with governments uh, to help them build policies that respond to the many challenges of today's economy, policies which leverage trade uh, as part of the solution. Now, a United Nations expert has warned the Tunisian government of possible austerity measures until an alternative option is identified. Now, international lenders now being called upon to provide additional relief to the country in order to reduce public debt and free up resources for public investment. Economic and social rights should therefore be the top priority of international financial institutions, bilateral lenders, and Tunisian authorities. Investing in these rights is the best investment for preventing violent extremism and political instability.